for part three on YouTube of our Tunic playthrough. And um, Deathwish just asked the question, who joins us tonight, by the way, um, momentarily ago, what is this game about? So the best way I can describe it from playing last night, it's a bit like kind of like a, a Zelda-esque kind of game, I guess is like the best way to describe it. So it's kind of like a, an action adventure sort of game and you have kind of like different weapons and abilities and things that you can pick up along the way. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much the best way I can describe it at the minute. It's, it's a bit of a mystery in many senses. Um, as we go through, we're actually picking up parts of the manual, which is kind of... Um, it's kind of revealing a little bit of, of, of what we need to do. But, um, yeah, it's all still a little bit of a mystery at the minute as to what's going on story-wise. Um, does that help at all, Deathwish? In... Uh, yeah. Um, d does it, or is it, or I should rephrase again. What is, what is the plot? What is your objective so far? Uh, again, I only know what I have basically picked up in this manual. So there is no kind of, there's no, I've not really come across any kind of story or anything. Uh, it's very much kind of like a, an explore at your own sort of pace kind of thing. Although some areas are were kind of um, limited early on because I didn't have a sword it didn't allow me to get chop through some of the areas and, and access some certain bits and pieces but yeah like I say to be perfectly honest I can't tell you a plot because I haven't come across a plot yet the only thing I kind of know is that we got to kind of activate some pillars um, almost a bit kind of like triforcey kind of thing and we went to, if I go to the map page, where was it? Actually, did, that area looks a little, kind of like a third person cartoony vibe of with the witness. Yeah. The, the, yeah. The, I don't know, this is the way that tree, like that little white tree and some of the stuff is yeah, designed. Yeah, it looks very it much kinda, like the, um, the, yep, the beach it, area, for sure. Yeah, it kind of gives me that vibe. Although, uh, obviously, the game is nothing like it because you don't have enemies in the witness. But oh, you do! It's called it puzzles. The, pu the puzzle, yeah. <laughs> the puzzle. <laughs> yeah, congratulations again on uh, finishing the color recolor. Yeah, there was uh, a couple of toughies at the end. Sure. Colorful recolor, I should clarify. So what I quite like about this game is um, I quite like the combat system in this game. So um, you have like your stamina bar, which is the green bar down at the bottom. And depending on, depending on how full that stamina bar is, it kind of dictates what sort of attack you can make. So, the higher the stamina bar, the stronger your attack. But the lower the stamina bar, the more vulnerable you could become and the more damage you can take. Well, that's kind of what I was looking at when you were being hit by that guy. Your green went down. What's the pink one? So, the pink is health. Okay. Um, so, now, that, so, now your stamina just... Yeah, so obviously I I've been I roll around and then that like kills my stamina completely. Uh, okay, okay. I but, was wondering what you did behind the scenes there. <laughs> but if if that's like a case of that and then you start spamming your attack button, you don't actually gain any stamina back until you completely kind of stand uh, still. Yeah. So it kind of adds a bit of an interesting twist on um comes back combat. quick. Though. Yeah, yeah, it does come back pretty quick. Uh which I I would venture to guess uh, 
depending on your enemies, not quick enough sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So you, have, you, you have to kind of plan out things according to your environment. Because, uh, uh, yeah, like if you do that little dash roll thing or whatever you want to call it, uh, that takes away energy. And then if you do that, come back in, drops it down quick, and then your attacks are weaker as opposed yeah. to just one because just walking and smacking them like you're doing right now. Yeah, so it's definitely kind of like, it, it makes combat, I mean, these these kind of crabs here, they're not really any like kind of difficulty at all, but certainly when you get like some of the bigger enemies who can hit you for more, it's it, it adds an interesting element because you kind of have to dodge out the way of some attacks but by dodging out the way of the attack obviously you're leaving yourself vulnerable and you're reducing your kind of defense your power and your defense it's, it's yeah. like your it's like your power and your shield at the same time yeah yeah that's that's different because normally those are separated typically you have a shield and, and typically you have a power or stamina bar separate so that's basically they just combine it into one. Yeah. It's almost like when you're like in mid combat, you need to evade. You almost like need to roll, but you need to kind of like get far enough away to allow your stamina to to kind of come back up again before you can then carry on your attack. So. Yeah, at least it's not like a slow. Ooh, rise back up. It's like half a second and it goes whoop right yeah. back up. That's not that's, that's not too bad considering it's both uh you know, both shield and stamina. So what is your goal? Um, again, I, I don't really know. I'm just kind of like. So you don't know what your goal is, other than walking around and and fighting whoever you're coming on. Like this big crab that's yeah, well, I mean, you we've, in fact, we activated a tower last night, which was over like to the east forest. So I. I hazard a guess, uh, and I might be in the, I might be like walking around the wrong place here at the minute. But I hazard a guess that we probably need to go in the opposite direction because it says something on this map about like ringing the West Bell. Um, if we go back to this first page, I mean, we've rung the East Bell, and then it says about like ringing the West Bell. So maybe. Well, that would make sense. Yeah. Hey, but, I mean, it's, what, it's, what does that mean? Well, I don't know. I don't know. And, what is, that, and is, what is that language? I don't recognize well, that language. That, yeah, again, I, I don't know if as we progress through the uh, game, maybe some of that becomes decrypted oh, almost. Yeah. I'm not sure. Storm, not sure. auto bolt. That's kind of a little touch on Autobots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i mean i i could completely be and i probably am completely in the wrong place here you're trying to do the wrong thing at the moment so it seems to me that can't be the case i think you're free to do whatever but uh but and, the, and the fact, it may be that, because like that crab you ain't beating that crab it seems to me well I, I do know how to do it. Um, you've kind of got to time it and dash into it when it's got its pincers open because once you can okay. get one shot off on it, um, you kind of can trap it in a bit of a stun lock. Okay. So you can just kind of get in there. But it's like the, the timing of actually getting that in there is something. Yeah, it seems like it because like once it gets a hold of you, you're done. Yeah. At least that's what it looked like. It was like, yep, you're screwed. I've also sort of 
theorized that um, it's almost a bit Zelda-esque in that there's like loads of hooks around the map and I can only imagine them those hooks are for like a hook shot or something that we'll uh, hopefully get later on it's like a bit of a fast travel kind of thing but yeah yeah his sword is much bigger than yours yeah he doesn't move around though so yeah you just gotta dodge the dodge and parry that was interesting as well. I just noticed that when you block with your shield, when you're blocking, your stamina bar actually goes up a lot slower when you've got your shield out. Well, that, that kind of makes sense. You, in, a, in a sense, you're sort of using stamina, but it doesn't allow it to go up fast when you're protected. Well, that's not nice. That's, uh, what did it say about those? It's something about those, isn't it? Circle around and use the shield. So I don't actually think I can like take them out. I think you've just got to kind of like play it safely. And um... what did it say? Oh. Do something like that to uh, get past those. Yeah, kind of like turrets and portal. Wait for it to recede and then go. Again, you just got to be careful with them because they, um, they take away your stamina. So yeah, well, and your, your does your health get back up automatically? Uh, well, n no. So how do you get health? So if you look at top right, I've got like some health bottles. No, oh, you um, got jalapeno too. What is the jalapeno for? I, I don't know. <laughs> Again, it doesn't really say. What's, what any of these, some of these abilities are and what they do, so it's almost they like a, a trial trial and error kind of situation okay. going on. Well, it's that seems awkward to me. I, I would think they would uh, But unless that's in like some... Let you know what, what you were supposed to be doing, I mean You know, it just says like here, it just says um, hot pepper, that's all we got because we can't understand any of the other any of the other writing. Um, yeah. But I wonder if more of this is explained as you find more of the manual. That, Possibly. That, yeah, that seems like a good possibility. Like, it starts being translated for you or something. Yeah. Like, as you find things. So, yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of a lot of text there that... Yeah. Uh, that that you can't read. Uh. Um, in short, Mika, it's the, the best way I can describe it at the minute because I, I genuinely don't have a better explanation. Is um, it's a bit kind of a bit like a, a Zelda, like I would say, like more like the original Zelda, where you're just kind of like roaming around. You got a couple of abilities, and you kind of just got to go into almost like dungeons and. Um, Hey, if you watch the stream through. from the beginning, I asked that question, so uh, it would explain about exactly what he just said, because he doesn't really know. <laughs> yeah, I can only apologize that I can't explain it sort of any further. It's like, that's yeah. a flower. What does a flower do? It's like we're finding out as you find out, so. No, that's a bomb. Of some description. It looks like a candy cane with a fuse in it. Yeah. Barber chop. You get to blow somebody's hair up. <laughs> They've ditched the scissors. They've gone for. They've ditched Explosives. the scissors and have gone for explosives. Yeah. Let me uh, tape this to your head, and your hairdo will be done, and just. A moment. There's a picture there, so we just kind of like went in where that arrow is there. But there's like a picture of like our character, which I don't know if that kind of 
means anything. And we're missing some of the the we're missing some of the map anyway, so I don't know. But what to I've also West found Garden. Well to West Garden you need to ring the West Bell, so Yeah. I mean that uh, seems to be telling you what the what to do. I like the little touch on this man these these manuals though. It's almost like this was somebody's manual and as they've been playing the game they've like made notes. It's like some little like pen markings in this manual like yeah. somebody's written something in which i noticed last night which I, th I thought was um pretty nice touch to be fair it, that actually looks a lot like my messy writing wait a second <laughs> are you trying to tell me <laughs> death wish made this game <laughs> i can't i can't say i can't deny or confirm But uh, anyway, yeah, let's um, see if we can head to the West Tower then, I suppose, is probably going to be... Yeah, let's ring that West Bell. Let's head to the West Garden, if we can. How do we get there? To the left. <laughs> it's like there's oh. these tuning forks around as well, and I, I'm interested as to what they are and what they do. Oh. Uh, okay. Left trigger. How do we tackle this guy? Left trigger. Oh. That worked out well. That was a waste of those. Uh, uh, well, yeah. Okay. Wow. Can you not throw them further? Uh, it's almost, I'll tell you what it is. It looks almost like this, this ledge is slightly curved on the top, so nothing will actually stay on it. And I dare say if I throw this... Oh, oh hey. That was a thing. Boom. Well, that certainly... Okay, the second one didn't do much of anything, but... Oh, I like one. Oh, wow. Okay. You're dead. No, no, no. We, we may have this. Uh, okay. Your health came back up. How did your health come up? Uh, I pressed the my health bottle. I had one oh, health okay, bottle okay. left. That's right. So. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm slow. <laughs> but I'm now slow, I've got no I'm health bottles there. left. So there's no way to actually recharge those bottles. So I've got to be very careful now. You have to just find them. Uh, no, you actually get this. There's like some kind of save spots, and every time you get to a save spot, it refills your. Um, oh, okay. It refills okay. your health. Gotcha. Mission the game that I've been playing. It's interesting physics-based cubish puzzle game, but without the physics, it's always a bonus because I know um, I know a lot of people were quite um, off-put, shall we say, by the. The way the physics worked in Cube. Yeah, that could have been a much better game. I I, I still liked it, but I don't think the, the, the don't think the second one was as bad though, was it? Uh, I mean, I played both. You know, I I think I even completed them both on video. Uh, unless I just remember, uh, but I think the second one was a, a little bit better, but it, yeah, they didn't seem to put a lot of effort into fine-tuning things, in my opinion. I mean, it was still a fun game as it was, but they could they could have made it a lot better than it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, that was the Andy game, right? Yes, it was. Yeah. So, uh, you know, kind of hard to complain about a any game. Uh, when, you know, especially if you only had, if, there's, if there was only, you know, a couple people working on it or whatever the case may be. And, yeah. Uh, uh, they're, 
Yeah, went and super buggy. You know, there's, there's definitely a lot worse games out there that that are supposed to be AAA games. Uh, are, oh. Yeah, yeah, they look better, and there's more more stuff, but that's because they're they have hundreds of people working on it instead of just a handful of people. But they still suck ass because yeah. they're just trying to pop it out there and sell it. You know, like, of course, the whole argument of like EA's approach and other companies' approach to you know, screwing you over on DLC and other things. But a Superman around this place. Superman with the sword. Don't touch me. It's not a fight. It's this is a flea game. Yeah. Run away. Invasion. <laughs> Your evasion. I just want to get a different save spot because that save spot where it took me back to a moment ago was uh, miles away from everything. Yeah, I was going to say, you were just there about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, okay. So the um, the fox is actually my position on the map. Okay, got you. That makes sense. That makes okay, sense. Okay, that, that, that should be highlighted, in my opinion. Yeah, it's just a little bit small, to be fair, isn't it? I'm honest. I mean, the shading and everything looks the same as everything else on the map. It should be like outlined in white or something to make it stand out a little more. Or have an arrow, the typical old school uh, blinking arrow above it pointing down. Yeah. You know, no, nothing wrong with the old tried and true. Where am I now? I'm down in this corner. Yeah, so up, up and to the left, up your ass and to the left. Hey, there we go. <laughs> yeah, those are definitely like tuna flutes. But yeah, what are they for? So try to open a chest and you get blasted. You get sodomized by bullets of sorts. It's fine. No idea what I just picked up. Uh, right th I'm right there with you. I'm all the way back here. Okay, well this is not where I want to go then. How do we get to that west place? Don't say go west. Up the ladder. Well, at least you can't get shot there. What are those things you pick up out of that chest? I think it's like, it's, it's a bit like coins or currency. I mean, that's what it looks like, but there's also some different color ones. Yeah, I don't, again, I don't know what the blue ones are. It's all, it's, everything's still a bit of a mystery. Yeah, I, I kind of don't like that about the game. Like, you're getting stuff and you're doing things, but you don't know what it is you're actually doing. Or what you're collecting, or... I mean, maybe that's the point everything is shrouded in a mystery you have to discover yeah I know what that said <laughs> yep I know what that says blow them up 
Well, I'm thinking I'm trying to blow these turrets up because obviously our approach. Oh, it's in chest. It's sneaky. Um, obviously, our approach at the minute isn't doing us too well. Hey, you got a telescope. Yeah, it just gives you a bit of a like a better view of better lay of the land, so to speak. Nowhere else we can go here. Ah, okay, so that's what they are. Okay. So now I know what those tuning fork things are. They're actually destroyed turrets. Oh, this thing. Okay, they're destroyed turrets. Okay. Yeah, it's still other than like the lighting shading and stuff like that. This is like something from the 90s. I'm guessing there should be like. It's going that way. I'm just trying to like see like another way across here. Yeah, it's not real definitive when. Yeah, it doesn't show you enough compared to. You know, your real world. Well, almost, it's almost like we need to be on like the higher path near this bell tower here, but there's no way to get there. We can only kind of come on this low path. Yeah, it's, showing, then... it's, it's kind of showing like you go around the bell tower and then take the stairs down on that upper level. Yeah. And, and go across. Like you got stairs or go up to the bell tower. And then you got stairs to go down, and then you go over and you got stairs to go down again to go out there. But yeah, you gotta be at uh, above the bell tower. I don't know. That's the way it looks to moi. Maybe I haven't finished everything. The East Bell? Maybe I'm missing something there. I don't remember, like, seeing the guard captain. Maybe I should, uh, get back in that direction and see. Because this bit here, like, on the map, is the bit that sort of, like, leads up to those stairs. But we're on, like, the lower area, so we can't actually get up to that top bit. Yeah, so like go straight up you would get up but yeah not the upper upper I mean we can go up here but then there's no no other way to go from here well uh, you can go up and up and to the right yeah but this is the way that I came in from that's what uh, I was kind okay. of um, alluding to our portal wasn't very clear about that sorry yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, uh, what I'd be doing this whole time would be uh, dying because I'd just be fighting these little crappers uh, and die and come back. But once you kill them, do they stay killed? Um, they do until you die. Uh, so if you die, they reset. Yes. Okay. Well, that, well, I mean, that's typical, I guess. Hold on. Let me just go down to here a minute, because there was something on the map. This little... Let's take a care of these. Try to, at least. There was something on the map. There was, like, a musical note by this house. 
just wonder if like there were those wind chimes or something to do with it. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, uh, kind of saw it coming, but you almost had it. What are those little stupid cube spiky things? They're like grass. Uh, okay. No, not not those. The the square blocks. I think they're meant to be like little bushes. Uh, okay. So this is sort of, uh, I mean, like those brown ones. Peace. Is, is there any more that you could possibly find? <laughs> Everything's all over the place. I'm trying to scrap something, and you're like, "Yeah, that, that, that. Yeah, okay. They all have similar characteristics, but no. The like this brown, like where you're walking through right now. Oh, they're just where I've chopped down bushes and things before. I think those things there." Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so I think if we look at the square square things, the square bushes, when I chop one of those, you get left behind the... The, the, um, the wood. Yeah. Or, yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. Gotcha. Like the, like the trunks. So yeah, I've chopped these ones here, yeah. They kind of get left behind there. Okay, I see that, yeah. Wasn't paying attention to that before. Just kept seeing those, uh... Those, uh, little brown things with the spikes. <laughs> well, that was an explosion. Yeah, get in. Jump yeah, well, I just like as I said, referring back to here. Look, there's like a little like music symbol on this old house, and I just wonder if it was something to do with these wind chimes, and if you could like, activate these wind chimes in some way, shape, or form. Look, yeah, Mika, I don't know how people play any kind of normal, average game with the bed. I mean, keys, like arrow keys and stuff like that. It's one thing, but touchpad, uh, man, I, I tried it once just back when I bought my first PC or uh, laptop back in the early 2000s. It was a 17 inch Samsung laptop. Heavy bitch, uh, but it re wasn't really a gaming PC. Yeah, I did. I did play some uh, games on it. And using the trackpad, and that was an absolute bitch. Yeah, I'm not sure how anybody could um, play with that man. But seriously. Yeah, that's to me. That's even a step below using the controller for FPS games. Because I mean, nothing beats a mouse on an FPS game. Yeah. Um, do you want to be in the oh. dark tomb? Possibly. Looks like we can get a, a lantern or something from the dark tomb, or we need a lantern maybe. FPS game with a touchpad, period, ever.
Somebody put the lights on, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we, um, they, they kind of get we, turned on as you're getting killed. I think we kind of probably need a, um, watch or something in there. Well, I'll be brutally honest. But at least I, I think I found the way to uh, do more stuff. Which is something. Yeah. Do, do the thing with the thing and then exit. One. Just like the advice or, or, you've been giving. Or, or, for like or use, all, all these get things. a thing. Use the stuff to do stuff. To get stuff. To do stuff. To exit. And continue to do stuff. I think you may need to tune all those works. Ah, uh, okay. There's a shortcut here all this time. Of course okay. there is. Well, we'll know now. We don't have to go through that uh, long, drawn-out process of through that house and whatnot. It's away right by the safe spot. Skulls come alive. I gotta say, you know, for like even this type of game, like the shadows and the, and the stuff is quite good. Dark, quite good. Uh, what does this say? Danger! Okay. You read something. So, okay, it says danger and below it it has the other language. Now, is that language saying the same thing? Possibly. But then what's the point? Because that's not uh, any Asian language. At least that I know of. Yeah, it's, I've seen people play, and I'm very impressed by it. I've seen people play Portal in general. With, what? With, with a touchpad. I have my shield out, man. Yeah, I, I don't know how anybody could play. Like. Things but like Brutal, Brutal in general, I don't, I don't know how people play with a controller. Yeah, I know. Um, it was quite impressive to see. Years ago, LB did a stream. He was playing community maps with um, controller. Yes, that's impressive. Uh, it didn't look particularly easy, that's for sure. Nah, uh, I wouldn't even have tried it. Uh, like if it was just a pure logical map, yeah. But if you have to do uh, flanks and different things like that, no. Uh, controller, but like I've seen people use uh, touchpads playing it. It's like, uh, that's pretty good. I guess if you're used to it, and that's the thing, uh, you know. I guess I can understand. I mean, I I used to only know controllers until basically '99, like I've said before. Uh, and the, the first game I played without a controller and learned WSAD, all that kind of the, your typical stuff, which was Unreal Tournament. Yeah, that, once I got used to that, which didn't take me very long, yeah, I couldn't, it's like, how do people play that stuff without a mouse and keyboard? Yeah. But then, you see, I'm completely the opposite, because I've always, I was always a console gamer. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I was up until, like I said, 99, Unreal Tournament. Which I think came out in 98, but I didn't play it until 99. Uh, when 
I got Shit. introduced to it, and then uh, sucked in. If and you seek was... to increase your power, ring the Western Bell. Okay, so I can increase my attack, my defense, my HP, potion strength, I guess, is the flower. What does Hewlett Packard have to do with anything? <laughs> oh, maybe it's hollow points. Oh, okay, so. It looks like I go to one of the, where like the I have to go to one of the statue things and go into Bring my it. menu and then use the items and I can increase my stats. Interesting. Okay. So it looks like I can use one of the one of the items and some of the coins to increase my stats. Okay. You got attack, defense, hit points, patient, question mark, and then blank. With question and then we've mark. got. So I think this is kind of explaining what happens when you die, which we already know. We kind of become an echo, and we can go back and we can go back to ourselves. And then we've got this: the guard and knight. And I think it's suggesting that we have an attack power of three and defensive power of three. Potentially. Bring in the West Bell again over there. Yeah, that's the map. Okay. We've yeah. just added that new page in, you see, so gotcha, that's our last gotcha. go from 19 to 28. Uh, okay, so that's that. Before we go down there, though, let's see if we can maybe use some of this stuff that we've picked up then. Yeah, do it to it. Oh, hell, the mighty idol. Converting. Your gift is accepted. Achievement unlocked. You have an attack power of two. Okay. Hey, can you send me some audio? Defense went up to two. Which reminds me of watching all the time without audio. They hear after a mad game with monster on the wall, they're just paying attention. It's the two. This is this is something new here. HP. Hey. All right. Our health bar is increased. Yes, this indeed. This is the last one then. This, I bet this is like magic power, even though we haven't actually got any magic power yet. I think that's what the blue things are. You know, you said about that before, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's MP like... magic power. So we don't actually have the magic bar yet because we haven't found anything that requires it. But I guess the blue shards are for. Military police. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You need that military police to uh, keep Hewlett Packard under her uh, under yeah. control. Clearly. Yeah. yeah, they have Hewlett Packard. All right, let's go. I guess this is the well. Certainly appears to be. Beneath the well. Kind of weird to see a well that's empty and then water all around it and up. And... Mm. Typically okay, so... dry around it and water down in the well. I'm guessing that at the end there is a boss which is kind of depicted, dip, dip, just shown. That's an easy word to say by that uh, skull. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose you could have that similarity, Mika. Yeah, there's the uh, kind of have to learn almost. Okay, 
So that's how we deal with those. That's good to note. Yeah, kick their ass. Is that what you mean? I like how they blow up when they die. Yeah, those ones. I, I was I had a few of those down at the beach when I was down. Oh, there's another. Oh, yeah, I can increase HP again. Um, I had one of those down at the beach, and I wasn't really sure how to, like, deal with it. But I suppose I should have just read the manual. So I'd already found that page in the manual. So. Oh, uh, real men don't read instructions. Just like they don't look at explosions. <laughs> Yeah, walk away. Don't look at them. Oh, I don't have enough coins for that. Okay, that's fine. Well, now you know what you need coins for. Yeah. We're not just Making aimlessly progress. picking them up. Yeah. Progress. Hey, there's another page in the manual here. What's this one going to teach us? Ooh. Oh, okay. So this is where we were before. Look. In that when we started off the stream. This is like the beach area. Interesting though as well, there's quite a lot in this page that's written in English that we can understand. Yeah, like Blue Storm and Autoboat. Hmm. Well I and wonder Pepper. if I wonder if here, like we have like the numbered towers. I wonder if we have to kinda of like visit them in order in some way shape or form it's um interesting yeah We've got the frog's domain yeah it still seems kind of trial and error but once you do learn something uh it seems to be a given after that yeah and i think it's an interesting way to play really because i think you could either like, go through and find these pages in the manual to obviously uncover what you're meant to do, or you could just literally like rush in and try and work it all out for yourself, which obviously yeah. doesn't always um, yield the best Work results. Out. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's typically my. I'm typically a. Uh, Hail Mary, suicide bomber kind of yeah, yeah. player. I'm like, kind of I know I shouldn't do this, but I'm just going to rush in and probably going to die. But yep, there I did. I died. Okay. I guess I'll go about the way I should. <laughs> yeah, no, I, can, I, can, I, can... I can't help myself from going the bum rush die route. I can totally relate to that. That's the, the way I play. Like I've always played Call of Duty. To be fair, I've always just like picked up a submachine gun and ran in, and just gone all hell mary sort of thing. Yeah, uh, same here. Done the same thing, but once uh, way back in the early 2000s when Call of Duty came out. Uh, yeah, uh, I did that, but then. I learned that it was more fun being stealthy and sneaking around and coming up behind people while they were praying and looking to snipe. And of course, everybody was in the room. We had, like, literally back then, uh, we had five computers on land uh, in, in my room here. And. So we're, you know, everybody's like in, into it, and I just, I go around, I go around, and I would try to sneak up behind them, and, and then say, and then yell over at them, "Hey, turn around!" Yeah, you know, bam, I'm out of the.